Hi everyone! In today's video, Sarah will tell you a story of her job interview. You'll learn some useful vocabulary and expressions that are commonly used in everyday conversations. This will also be a great opportunity for you to practice and improve your English listening and speaking skills. Listen carefully. Hi, I'm Sarah. And today is a big day for me. I woke up early in the morning feeling excited and nervous at the same time. Why, you ask? Well, I have a job interview today. I quickly got out of bed and started to prepare myself. First things first, I took a nice warm shower to freshen up. Then I picked out my best outfit, a nice blouse and a pair of black pants. After getting dressed, I went to the kitchen to make myself a hearty breakfast. I knew I needed all the energy I could get for the day ahead. I made some toast and scrambled eggs and poured myself a glass of orange juice. As I ate, I went over some possible interview questions in my head, trying to prepare myself as best as I could. Once I finished breakfast, I double-checked my bag to make sure I had everything I needed. My resume? Check. References? Check. Pen and notebook? Check. I made sure I had everything in order before heading out the door. As I walked to the bus stop, I couldn't help but feel a little jittery. But I took a deep breath and told myself that I could do this. The bus arrived, and I hopped on, finding a seat near the window. I watched as the city passed by outside, trying to calm my nerves. Finally, I arrived at the company's office building. I took one last deep breath before walking inside. The receptionist greeted me with a warm smile and I announced myself for the interview. She directed me to a waiting area, where I sat nervously until it was my turn. When my name was called, I walked into the interview room with confidence. The interviewer asked me several questions, and I answered them as best as I could, drawing on my past experiences and skills. After what felt like an eternity, the interview was finally over. I thanked the interviewer for their time and walked out of the building, feeling a mix of relief and excitement. Whether or not I got the job, I was proud of myself for taking this big step in my career. Before we begin our speaking practice, let's learn some new words and expressions from our story. Understanding these will help you improve your English skills. Nervous means feeling worried or uneasy about something. Example, I felt nervous before taking my math test. Outfit means a set of clothes worn together. Example, she picked out a pretty outfit for the party. Hearty means satisfying and nourishing. Example, I had a hearty bowl of soup for lunch. Jittery means feeling nervous or shaky. Example, I always get jittery before giving a presentation. Resume means a document containing a person's work experience and qualifications. Example, she sent her resume to several companies in search of a job. References means people who can provide information about a person's character and qualifications. Example, he listed his former boss and teacher as references on his job application. Eternity 
means a period of time that seems endless. Example, waiting for the bus felt like an eternity. Relief means a feeling of comfort or reassurance after a worry or problem. Example, I felt a sense of relief when I found my lost keys. Double check means to check something again to make sure it is correct or in order. Example, I double checked my homework to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. Deep breath means to inhale and exhale deeply. Example, I took a deep breath before jumping into the pool. All right, let's start the speaking practice. Repeat after Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah. And today is a big day for me. And today is a big day for me. I woke up early in the morning. I woke up early in the morning. Feeling excited and nervous at the same time. Feeling excited and nervous at the same time. Why, you ask? Why, you ask? Well, I have a job interview today. Well, I have a job interview today. I quickly got out of bed. I quickly got out of bed and started to prepare myself. Then started to prepare myself. First things first. First things first. I took a nice warm shower to freshen up. I took a nice warm shower to freshen up. Then I picked out my best outfit. Then I picked out my best outfit. A nice blouse and a pair of black pants. A nice blouse and a pair of black pants. After getting dressed. After getting dressed. I went to the kitchen. I went to the kitchen to make myself a hearty breakfast and to make myself a hearty breakfast I knew I needed all the energy I knew I needed all the energy I could get for the day ahead I could get for the day ahead. I made some toast and scrambled eggs. I made some toast and scrambled eggs and poured myself a glass of orange juice. and poured myself a glass of orange juice. As I ate, as I ate, I went over some possible interview questions in my head.
I went over some possible interview questions in my head. Trying to prepare myself as best as I could. Trying to prepare myself as best as I could. Once I finished breakfast. Once I finished breakfast. I double checked my bag. I double checked my bag. To make sure I had everything I needed. To make sure I had everything I needed. My resume? Check. My resume? Check. References? Check. References? Check. Pen and notebook? Check. Pen and notebook? Check. I made sure I had everything in order. I made sure I had everything in order before heading out the door. Before heading out the door. As I walked to the bus stop. As I walked to the bus stop. I couldn't help but feel a little jittery. I couldn't help but feel a little jittery. But I took a deep breath. But I took a deep breath. And told myself that I could do this. And told myself that I could do this. The bus arrived, and I hopped on. The bus arrived, and I hopped on. Finding a seat near the window. Finding a seat near the window. I watched as the city passed by outside. I watched as the city passed by outside. Trying to calm my nerves. Trying to calm my nerves. Finally. Finally, I arrived at the company's office building. I arrived at the company's office building. I took one last deep breath. I took one last deep breath. Before walking inside. Before walking inside. The receptionist greeted me. The receptionist greeted me. With a warm smile. With a warm smile. And I announced myself for the interview. And I announced myself for the interview. She directed me to a waiting area. She directed me to a waiting area. 
where I sat nervously until it was my turn. Where I sat nervously until it was my turn. When my name was called. When my name was called. I walked into the interview room with confidence. I walked into the interview room with confidence. The interviewer asked me several questions. The interviewer asked me several questions. And I answered them as best as I could. And I answered them as best as I could. Drawing on my past experiences and skills. Drawing on my past experiences and skills. After what felt like an eternity. After what felt like an eternity. The interview was finally over. The interview was finally over. I thanked the interviewer for their time. I thanked the interviewer for their time and walked out of the building and walked out of the building feeling a mix of relief and excitement feeling a mix of relief and excitement Whether or not I got the job, whether or not I got the job, I was proud of myself. I was proud of myself for taking this big step in my career. For taking this big step in my career. All right. Let's listen to the story one more time. Hi, I'm Sarah. And today is a big day for me. I woke up early in the morning feeling excited and nervous at the same time. Why, you ask? Well, I have a job interview today. I quickly got out of bed and started to prepare myself. First things first, I took a nice warm shower to freshen up. Then I picked out my best outfit, a nice blouse and a pair of black pants. After getting dressed, I went to the kitchen to make myself a hearty breakfast. I knew I needed all the energy I could get for the day ahead. I made some toast and scrambled eggs and poured myself a glass of orange juice. As I ate, I went over some possible interview questions in my head, trying to prepare myself as best as I could. Once I finished breakfast, I double-checked my bag to make sure I had everything I needed. My resume? Check. References? Check. Pen and notebook? Check. I made sure I had everything in order before heading out the door. As I walked to the bus stop, I couldn't help but feel a little jittery. But I took a deep breath and told myself that I could do this. The bus arrived, and I hopped on, finding a seat near the window. I watched as the city passed by outside, trying to calm my nerves. Finally, I arrived at the company's office building. I took one last deep breath before walking inside. 
The receptionist greeted me with a warm smile, and I announced myself for the interview. She directed me to a waiting area, where I sat nervously until it was my turn. When my name was called, I walked into the interview room with confidence. The interviewer asked me several questions, and I answered them as best as I could, drawing on my past experiences and skills. After what felt like an eternity, the interview was finally over. I thanked the interviewer for their time and walked out of the building, feeling a mix of relief and excitement. Whether or not I got the job, I was proud of myself for taking this big step in my career. Good job today. Keep it up. Every lesson helps you get better at English. We're excited to see you in my next videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more lessons. Keep learning and see you soon.